Uh, hello, it's me again. Uh, today we're going to take a walk through the NVIDIA Transfer Learning Toolkit version 2. It just came out uh, uh, with the DeepStream 5 and uh, they're really kind of designed to work together. Um, if you want to retrain your models to run in DeepStream 5, well this, this is the, the software you need. So let's just get this rolling so we can uh, see what she's got. Um, so right here, I'll give you a link to all these uh, so you can look at these all yourself. It just explains what's going on. They've got the, the models that they had before with the earlier one. And then they've added these other ones right here, so that's nice. They're more defined for specific tasks. Um, here's some more right here. And then here's a couple examples, and if you want to see all the models, you can look right there. And why do you use the transfer learning toolkit? So I'll put a link to this, and uh, you know, so you guys can kind of see this all for yourself. Uh, let's see. Then when you go from there, we go here. This is where all the documentation is at, and like what to do and where to get all your info. You know, and it talks about uh, the newer, uh, the new models. And then here's the info you're going to need to, uh, you know, here's some models, info, uh, TLT info, Jetpack info, and a lot of other helpful information you'll need to, uh, to really kind of get things going. So, and then from here, we'll start here. We're going to go download the TLT and GC container. And uh, so we'll start with that. But before we get rolling, we're going to do some preliminary kind of setup to make it easy on us. Um, so one of the things we get to do is we need to build this TLT experiments folder. And uh, so, because what happens, we're gonna mount this. This is gonna be mounted by this. And you gotta, inside that folder, you're gonna put, uh, build a folder called data. And that's where we're gonna put all of uh, the, uh, uh, the, the, the training data sets and we'll go there. And then the other thing we have to do is we have to do our setup. We have to install the NGC CLI. You go to the Linux one right here. And these are all the instructions you're going to use. Now, I, I'm just going to do these here. I'm not going to do this because when I go get my key, that's that's when we'll run this. So Because that's also in uh, setting up the key. So what you do is uh, click on Linux, bring up the Linux instructions. And then we'll start uh, the instructions, entering the instructions here. See, this is an attempt to run NGC config set without setting up the, the NGC CLI install. And that's what you get if you don't set this up first. So now let's go ahead and set this up. Paste this first line, run that. Then you paste in the second line, copy and paste that one in. And then you copy and paste this one in. And then uh, I wouldn't do this. We're going to do this later. So, and I'll, I'll show you where, where we do that at. So once you're done with this, then we got to go get a key. So we go back. Uh, we need to go back there and generate our key. So now we're going to generate our key. So we, uh, let's see, we generate the key. Click on that. And then confirm. And it brings us our key. So once we do that, then we can start going through the setup. Type in that NGC config set. And then uh, it'll want our key right here. So we put our key in, copy our key right here, put it in there. By the way, this key and this key are the same thing. So we uh, copy it in there. And then it wants you to enter your CLI output format. I really don't understand this too much, but I just did it what it said and moved on. And then uh, then you can run the, the Docker login. This basically gives you all the permission to pull the file, work in the file. So, you know, it has to do it. And then what you do is, uh, that's your password, put it there, copy and paste it. 
and then you want your password which is your key put that in there and then you're logged in so now we're logged in so now oh yeah don't forget to save your key very important these are the other keys I've, I've, I've generated today And then now we can go back to the, the Docker, this Transfer Learning Toolkit, uh, Docker uh, NGC's folder. And then this goes down here, this tells you kind of, you know, what it's all about and uh, more information. You know, the more information you know, the easier it is for you to work with. <clears throat> and these are some of the new models right here. That they're that they're giving you and a lot of these models they, they they're also in deep stream five so that's really nice and this is your training um, you know we're gonna we're gonna do the Yolo uh, Jupyter notebook so that's the one we're gonna do so now we're down here this is where you pull the Docker image and so what it is is we I've already pulled it so it's gonna say uh, you know you've already got it there so other than that it would just pull it. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to, uh, let's see, we're going to run this. Now, I've already done it, so I'm going to scroll through up here looking for the, the right one. And I'll show it to you that uh, we're going to mount right there. Home Joe TLT dash experiments. That's the... Uh, uh, folder we're going to mount and you can see it's I had you have to build it so you have to build this TLT dash experiments and then you click on it and then you build a folder called data and uh, and the, the folder with data is going to be where all your training images are and then uh, also uh, I'll show you uh, as we run through the Jupyter notebook the, it's going to build uh, all the folders that you're going to need to do all this stuff. So let's go ahead and run this. Uh, let's see, why aren't we running this? I'll we'll run this, and then what happens, it'll uh, uh, bring up uh, the workspace, and then what happens is you put the uh, Jupyter Notebook address in, see, we brand that. We brought up workspace here. So now we're going to grab this, throw that in there, paste it in there, and that's going to start our Jupyter notebook. Now to to get it running, so you got to copy this, and I'm going to open up Chrome and throw it in there. And then we have to do a little bit of modification to start up the Jupyter notebook. Here we throw that in there. And then what happens is we're going to back, get rid of this parentheses. And then we're going to back all this out and get rid of that parentheses and push enter. And this starts the Jupyter notebook. And it brings us to this. See, there's the TLT experiments of the Docker folder that we mounted to ours. So these two are now, I don't know, symbiotic, I guess. So what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, out of the experiments, we're going to run the, the TLT YOLO V3 example. And uh, so we've got started this going. First of all, we got to set up our variables. And uh, we'll do that over here. And what I got going on on the left here is I'm trying to... Uh, I ran detect net, so I kind of got to get rid of all this stuff. And uh, so I take my key, copy it, I put my key right here. And then uh, go ahead and run this, and this will uh, give it the key and then mount all my directories. And then now we're going to prepare the data set and the pre-trained model. So we all this stuff is going to be in the data folder. 
I've already got some stuff in there, so I'm going to go ahead and clean it out. Uh, let's see. So you run this, and it should check my folder. And what it is is you can get the, the, the images you need from here. Like there, data object image 2, data object label 2 zip. You click on this, it'll show you where to download them. You download them, and then once you're, you've got them downloaded, you throw them into your data file. So, and you'll end up with something that looks like this in a second. It'll look like... You'll end up with this. So once you got in there, you're good. Then we can start going down the, the, the line here. So this we're gonna this checks for the data set is present. Are you present? There, there we go. Found the zip files. And then uh, we want to unpack the zip files. That's next. You see it unpacked into the training folder. And then a testing folder. And then we'll take a look at the directory for testing and training and the data objects. And this shows what's inside of them, the images and the labels. This is for testing and training. And then what we do is uh, compare the TF records for, from the kitty format data set. I, and I, I thought this was kind of interesting. It's like, um, you know, this is YOLO. And YOLO generally doesn't use a kitty uh, format for its data set. So I'm going to have to look in there and see kind of what how they did that. That, that seems kind of interesting, you know. Because I've done a lot of YOLO data sets, and uh, they're not kitty. So. As you can see, we're, we're bringing up the TF records. It made the TF records. As you can see... Uh, uh, you see it making the directory and then it just it shows what's inside of it and then what's inside the kitty train valve so now we're going to download a pre-trained model we're just going to use the one that that's uh, that they got ready here the ResNet 18 so first of all, we go look in the, the pull down the registry. As you can see, there's ResNet 18. So we're going to use that one. And then, so we need to make a pre trained ResNet folder. Now, uh, I'm going to flip this back. You'll see that it's making all these folders once I go back to the TLT experiments folder. And then we're going to pull the train model. And this kind of shows you what we pulled and where it went. And this is the going to just check it to make sure it's there, I suppose. The HDF5. Then here's the the the. This is the spec folder that the models that the training is going to be run with. So this is the specification folder how the model is going to be trained. Now, if you want to modify this, you have to go to that folder and modify it. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to go look for the YOLO train resident 18 kitty dot text folder in the specs folder right there. YOLO resident train kitty yeah so YOLO train there we go. So what happens if you want to make changes, you make them here and save it. You know, you want them, like here's your paths, you're going to, you got another, uh, you know, data set you want to point it to, you can do it in there. And then, uh, like I say, this is where you make the changes. Oh, then, then you start running the, the training set. Then you run it. So now we're going to make a, a folder, experiment directory on Prune to, uh, Put the the uh, models epochs in, and then here's where we run the uh, start the training. Like I say, and then this this took about like five hours to do right there, like here, and you can see where it gets done. And I went back to uh, the experiments folder, and these are the folders that it's making. And then we're just scrolling through and see what it was built upon. And there's another thing about this is you can like, this had 80 epochs. What's nice about that is, is when you do your training and retraining, you can actually choose which epochs you wanted to, to do. And like that, that's pretty neat because uh, you know a lot of times after all the training, you know, uh, because of uh, overfitting or or other things like that, you know, the, uh, the 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 last model is not always the best model. So so you can actually change this, and you can change uh, the uh, to another model, and then we're, we're going to bring up the models so you can actually look at their performance, so you can choose for yourself. Like here, here's all your epochs, and you can see how they ran. So if you find the best one, you can scroll through the best one and actually use it. You don't have to use the last one. So that's pretty neat. And then uh, you're going to evaluate the train model. As you can see, like, you know, we're now in the TLT Experiments YOLO folder. And these are the uh, folders that are, that the Jupyter Notebook makes. The, we're going to end up with a lot more. Let's see, what are we waiting Like I say, I try to skip, you know, things that take too long. And then we're going to prune the train model. And we're going to make a, a directory here. Which is Epoch 80. We're going to prune the train model. So first of all, we're going to make an experiment directory prune, as you can see. And then here's the, here's the number you change to make a, a, for the prune model. Now I notice that like this number is, I just use their number because it always turns out pretty good. But this is where you do your experimenting right here. See, and over here is the epoch. You can't see it, but you can choose which epoch to use. You know, you have to scroll over a little farther and put the epoch number that you like the best. And then here it's starting the TLT training. Now this took another, this probably took like another four hours to do, four to five hours. So, you know, I paused it and then let it run overnight and then, you know, started it up again. So this takes a while. Like I say, this whole thing takes about, probably about eight hours to do. The machine I got is I got an x86 machine, uh, an i7, 
Um, and then I run it in a GTX 1080 Ti. So you know, it's 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 a uh, it's not a bad machine. It, it it does what I used to run like uh, 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 I used to use a paper space machine, and that was pretty good. But you know, I saved up all my nickels and dimes, and I, I decided I just have to get me my own machine. So that's really nice. But anyway, so. Uh, you know, now we, we made another directory here. Um, uh, retrain the, you want to retrain the prune model. You know, and this is uh, the spec file. So, uh, you know, if you want to make modifications, like I say, you got to go to the spec folder. And you can make modifications here. You know, right here. Examples, Jolo spec. Just find the one and modify it if you need to. So you can, you know, like your weights and uh, your paths right here. And, you know, if it's, if it's a PNG or a JPG, you can change it right there. And, uh, and uh, so, so this is where you do all your changes and you save it. And then you make experiment directory retrain folder. And then you actually start your training. I had made a mistake before. I said we were training before, but we weren't. So now is when we actually start doing the training. And like this takes about four or five hours. So. So. And then we trained and I became back to it and then uh, you know we're gonna uh, check the retrain weights right here and I'm scrolling through this to kind of show you how how it was built the layers See, and this one went to 100 epochs. So now we're going to make another fire folder. We're going to look in the folder, excuse me. And these are all the epochs. Like I say, this is where you can set the epoch you want. You know, you can go through this and find like the best one. You know, whichever one uh, gave you the best performance. And you can actually uh, evaluate it right here. And then now we're going to visualize uh, the in inference. So we're gonna uh, grab a couple pictures and run them through the, uh, the inference to, and, and take a look at and see how they turn out. You see, it's making folders to store all this stuff. And there's the layers right there. What it used. Now we're going to go find some pictures to run it into the inference on. Now we visualize it with some pictures. So I don't know if you can't see, there's a person, there's a car. It's kind of small, but it did a good job. Now we get to get ready to deploy it. By the way, I'm going to this this tutorial will only going to be on running the transfer learning toolkit version two. Next week I'm going to come up, I'm going to come out with a tutorial that shows that we're going to use what we produced in this TLT. Uh, we're going to put it on a Jetson Nano uh, NX. 
I mean a Jetson Xavier NX, sorry. And we'll, we'll put it on there and do the final conversion and actually run it on there. So now we, we're going to export the model. And then uh, we're going to convert it. And then we're going to show the uh, engine. And then now we're going to verify the deployed model. And then we're also going to do is I'm going to go through these folders and show you kind of what was produced. So, like I say, uh, next uh, week I'll put a tutorial out on how we take this and actually run it on your uh, Xavier NX or Jetson Nano. It should be the same. Now we're going to go through some of these folders. It shows like what, what the, the Jupyter Notebook has produced for these folders. There's the images, inference images that it used to, to visualize with. There's the, uh, the TRT engine and the EPOC 100. There's experiment directory pruned. There's the retrain and there's the weights in there. Then there's the unpruned version of this and the weights in there. So um, I guess that's about it. So I hope you guys can utilize this to, uh, to you know, to make it easier. Because when I first started doing this, it took me a while to figure all this out. And uh, hopefully with this, you guys can get going through this faster and move on to more bigger important things like your projects uh thank you very much